If you can tell me what movie this came from. I know the movie, but I don't remember <laughs> the name. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, it's a big buckles. It says silver, but that's not silver, right? I don't um, think. My mom brought that. Mom? Yeah, it looks like it's plated. Do you, he's asking about this belt buckle. It says Montana Silversmith, but you can kind of tell that the, see the plating on it. I, yeah, I yeah. don't know anything about it. No, I would just. Oh, never mind. Did you have a well, question for her? But, yeah, I guess he wants to know if it's silver or silver plated. I don't think it, it says silver, but I, I think it's plated. Because you can see um, it's all coming. No, I like actually. Like it's all coming we, off of it. Yeah. Um. We paid, I think, about a hundred bucks for it. Did you? So, yeah. I mean, if that was silver. I think the front is silver, not the back. The back is plated, but the front I'm silver works. Um, no, I don't think so. I, you know, I don't. Uh, yeah, if I made a bunch of trips there, it would be worth it. But I only, yeah, do like one. So I uh, know I don't think so. But thank you. Thank you. How big them buckles are. Does this say bushwhacker? Yeah. PBR. Kansas State Park. Do you want to do any less for any of these or not? I'm sorry? Do you want to do any we less for any of these? Offer, I think, and uh, she would yeah, entertain I would do like $30 for the two of these. Okay. Is that alright? Alright. Alright. What about the any of the other ones? Do you want to... Make me an offer for all of them. Would you do like 100 bucks if I just took them all or not? I sure will. Alright. I'll do that. I, I don't... Got it. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I buy and sell stuff, oh, I and I think, think people. Fair. I think that's yeah. fair. That's, that's do you fair. want the little case or I'm not? I'm happy with that. Do you want the little case or not? I think you can take that basket okay. if All you right. want it. Don't you think, yeah. Mom? He yeah. can just have you the basket. That way it makes it easy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. There you go. Well, thank you so All right. much. You're thank welcome. You. I appreciate mm -hmm. that very much. Oh, you're welcome. Great you too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video thus far. In that video you just watched, you see my dad buy a bunch of belt buckles. So this being, once we got them back, well, once he got them back, realizing that this was the most expensive one in there. So in the video, he tried to look some of them up and couldn't really find none of them at the sale. When you're in the moment like that, it's a little different than when you're just coming back. You know, you got people around, people looking at them, stuff like that. But when you get back, you can go on worth points, search different words, different things, and it's a lot easier to find. And anybody that's bought and sold knows when you're at the sale, for some reason, it's harder to find stuff all the time, it seems like. But anyways, got back to the shop and started looking around and found some of these went really high. So bought it Saturday, posted it yesterday, and it sold last night. So it wasn't even on a full 24 hours, and it got $2.99. We're going to ship it out, but the other ones that was in there, I think we listed one for 50, one for 109, and then we put the rest in the shop and we'll sell them for, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks a piece. So my dad's really good at finding stuff like this. Me, I may have walked past it. I'm not sure. So it's just one of the things that now you see stuff like this, I'll never walk past another one or won't, you know, take belt buckles for granted, I guess. So between the fees on it, the fees were like 35 and some change and it was like five and some change to ship it. So hard to say what we had in it because he bought all of them, but still made 260 on this one minus what we had in it. And there you have it, that easy. There's the money, man. No money, man. Money, man. Oh, God, man. I'm tired. It's my Bible. You got your fruits from the Bible. Because oh, this one is also included today? Negative. Don't you ever watch it walk in here with a Pepsi or a root beer watch and you never do want to buy it? You want to buy it? You have a Pepsi or a root beer. You want new Pepsi or? New. Is it yeah, newer yeah. year or older year? Newer year. Newer, newer model. Yeah, newer model. You're looking at about 20. Yeah, yeah. I need to go back to Vegas so I can call it. The lady said if I ever come back up there. Root beer, no? Pepsi, I'm talking about Pepsi. Root beer, I have to Four, check. Right? Probably, I have to check what side. I didn't buy a root beer in a long time. Pepsi, I know recently I was finding one. That's why I know the price on top of it. Let's put the paper down. I need to melt the bar, man. That's what it, one thing, melt one big bar. Cool. Coin is coming coin to going. Papa. Pa coin is coming to Papa. That's the flip for it. Flip for it. Man, your parking lot is full, man. So you Packed. Can hear and look. It's dead. I think man. everybody's you guys need to, get there to the keep theirs open. No, but you guys need to keep that assigned parking. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get two signs yeah, like two hers. Signs, yeah, two signs, yeah. Just put them over on the other side over there. With that side also, that pet something of parking with it. They have assigned parking, so I can't park there. Some of them do. Yeah, I like this one, Volvo Parts Department. Leave it. Let it go sometimes. Huh? Let it go. Okay, I'll well, give it. me 24 care for all of them. Okay, I'll give it to you. <laughs> all right. I'll do my math. Just deduct one gram on it. Or just do that. I just do that, yeah. Take all this white gold. You can melt your bar with that white gold. Yeah, but then you don't want the bar. No, no, you can yeah, do it to the channel. Then you whine and cry about the bar being too much nickel in it. Give it to the channel. Mm. Mm. Give away. After 100,000 subscribers. $3,000 giveaway? I was thinking about 100,000 giveaway the other day. I mean, we're a long ways away from that. But mm, you never know. know, man. You'll come. You never know. <clears throat> Take off. Oh, we never no, it turned is hard. It. it is hard. I forgot we never turned it back on. I thought it was just me. I'm like, damn, no, no, man, it's, it's hot. hot. 
77. Up too. I thought I just had one call whatever you have. <clears throat> I don't know. I always come. I'm like, okay, next week I'm gonna get something nice. It never comes out. I think you sell it to somebody else. <laughs> you know, I do have a thing where I gotta put some stuff out to sell. I can't just sell it all to you. For yeah, this less one. Than yeah, what gold see? Is. The K Jewelers one. Yeah, see, I gotta put that out. This gold is like picking out a backlash and real man. It's like it's frustrating. Good. You just want to cut it out. But it's going to go up, you know that, right? What, gold? Think so? If Israel war happens, it will go up more. So why ain't... Why am I not buying? I'm buying the last well, piece. I'll well, give you a nice piece, but it's freaking broke. Look okay, at right there, you just dropped that in the middle of the tree. Think it's going to go up? Yeah, 100%. Gold? Yeah. There you go, you got a nice piece. I don't know, man, how much more can it go up? I think 25 yeah, but, easy yeah, I think, man, when they make when they make it, well, if it goes up like that, it hurts businesses. Oh yeah, it does. A lot of jewelry businesses, a lot of yeah, a lot of stuff, man. It hurts them because people won't buy it no more. 100 percent. So I don't know if they regulate it like that. So like, jewelry business is completely effed up right now because of that. Well, I'm saying like. Whoever controls the gold price, I mean, it's got uh, something to do with the economy, too, though. I mean, yeah, it, hurts, it does, it does, it does. It kind of hurts the economy when it goes up. No, the economy gets weak, so the gold goes up. So the economy is in recession right now. Well, I'm saying, like, it hurts the bit, small businesses. I mean, I guess you can buy it and sell it for, you can buy scrap and sell it, but as far as, like, what you would consider, you know, mom and pop jewelry shops and all that, it yeah, yeah. hurts them. Yeah, 100%. Unless they're buying stuff like this and Setting it getting screwed by somebody like you. <laughs> or getting a happy hand like me. <laughs> uh, is, that <laughs> is that a one way ticket? <laughs> Straight ticket to hell if you know that? I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to melt it. I'm, I'm not scared of much, but I'm scared to. Because if you're wrong, man, that's a, that's a long, forever's a long time. So I wanted to pause the video for a minute and give you a little context about how this conversation comes about because I don't know, you know, I know what we're talking about because obviously I'm in the conversation, but hearing it, it goes kind of fast, I don't know. My dad was talking about melting religious pieces. So when we get pieces of like religious gold charms or rings, all that kind of stuff, and we don't sell them, he was talking about melting them. And... You know what he thinks the consequences of melting stuff like that might be so some people might say you know some content like this is controversial they don't like to hear but i've always said i was just going to show authentic genuine stuff on my channel and this was just an authentic genuine conversation we were having between prince and us so i hope you guys enjoy it i don't think so anybody's going to hell forever that's what i'm saying like, how do i want to be there for five minutes huh how do i want to go for five minutes <laughs> Everybody's going to go for something or the other. <laughs> Just think of sitting in line. Every, and, every human being has done this. Think if you did a cannonball. And, and, what, if, and what if you go to hell? The devil's just laughing at you because you're burning hot. I'm hot. And the devil's laughing. Like, is it or you, well, get to, you get used to anything. You I mean, burn forever. I mean, what? You ever jumped in a cold pool of water? <laughs> and then pretty soon it don't feel so cold no more? It might be the same thing. I'm saying, man, people just, I don't know. Back then, I don't think they just didn't. They didn't know certain things. Like a guy really went inside of a well and came out and lived and told a story about it. Come on, let's be for real. Um, you believe that? <laughs> you think he was in the well stomach talking and he had a lighter and looking at it? So if so I went out and I said, Prince, you know what happened? I went kayaking last week and a damn so well swallowed you, me. That's why he's prophet. A well swallowed me and I came out. But and how do you know he's not a prophet? Now I'm telling you. He'd say, man, you're crazy as <laughs> That's why you can't talk about religion. It is difficult, man. But the one thing I 100% believe that there is a superpower. I believe. I believe there's a power up there. I believe you were. I believe you was intelligently designed because the way your body is, the earth, water, your veins. It's one in a trillion that would, that that would happen. But there's a trillion different planets, so it could we could be that one. No. No. Uh, you 110% that is. There's a power up there. There is one Almighty that created us and everything. That that concept, I do hundred percent agree to it. But I do believe that there is because uh, something so above you. There is something above you, hundred percent. I don't know. Man. Some some things are true, like for example, 
you do something good, good will happens to you. I have experienced it first time. Yeah. I've done thousands of things good and Uh-oh. natural <laughs> naturally things came out to be right. And when you do something wrong, something will run happen to you. I believe in karma and all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm to the point where I'm afraid to even walk into church and I'd burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> when, I mean, think about it. All, all the stuff that they tell you, man. There are some things I don't agree to. Like, they preach, they preach, they preach, but half of them, they don't follow it by themselves. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So That's I, how it is here, 90% yeah. of the time. Yeah. So what I do no, 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 is... Get, no, no, pass the plate around. <laughs> pass the plate around again. Jimmy said that they, they shut his down because it wasn't getting enough. If they said passing the plate around until there's enough in there, then they'll start the sermon up again. And I mean, I understand you got to some money, but a God's honest true story. I went somewhere one time where there was a pastor, and they were having a thing for a family member. And I knew the person, but I you know, wasn't part of their church or nothing like that, so I went for them. My wife and I were friends with them. Uh-huh. And he started, they started talking about giving them money for what J- they had accomplished or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So they passed it around. He, uh, we're just all standing there. He counted it. He's like, "Nope, I got a number in mind. Y'all didn't hit the number. Pass it around again." I'm like, "What? <laughs> Pass it around again? I didn't put nothing in there. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't put nothing in there." So then he brought it back up, counted it again. He's like, "Nope." Um, the guy pulls out a credit card machine and put it on the table, and said, "I knew when I came here, some people was gonna say they didn't have cash, so I brought this for y'all. I put a credit card machine on the table." That's you know what I did? I walked out. That's the part of religion that's gone bad, man, is it's all about money now. It's yeah, a business. 100%. It's a business. That, that I agree with you. Joel Olstein and all them guys. They're worth it's millions really, and millions. And if people who really are preaching be- the religion you really have be- nothing to do with the religion. Yeah. That's, a, that's the reality. If you really believed in that and you really believed Jesus was what people say, he didn't get paid to do that. Why should you get paid to do that? Oh, yeah. Does that say 18K or is that just a scratch on there? All you got to do is put it on that. I just showed us, is this an 18K? It's tiny. So it's something K. Okay. Looks like it. Something K. Okay. I think this is 18K. But it's tiny. Yes. It's tiny written on there. Feels like you can. <clears throat> but I don't mind talking about stuff like that. People get all offended and all that. I, I, I think you should talk about it. And that's what I, makes, I, I that's what makes stuff good. Is you can have conversation. I don't, I'm I, not going to treat you different because you believe different. I just tell your opinion. You tell me mine. You talk I, I, How's not one sin greater than the other? Huh? Hell's not one sin greater than the other. Yeah, sure, yeah. That's what they say, but I'm saying they say, like, lust, but if you, everybody looks at a woman or man, like a good-looking woman or man, whether yeah. you're married or not, you look, but yeah, that's yeah, the same that's as killing same. somebody? No, that ain't no. the same. Come on. Or just whatever. I mean, that, that ain't the same. That's impossible. It's, just, it's not people, impossible because when we was kids, if somebody did something wrong... <laughs> First of all, uh, half the people portray God completely wrong, I feel. Well, if one of us did something wrong and nobody owned up to it, everybody got the same punishment. <laughs> so if God, God happened to be looking the other way on something and he don't know who did it, everybody might get... <laughs> I mean, and I even would know who did it and I couldn't throw him under the bus. <laughs> but I, I, I wasn't going to admit to it because then if I was going to get it, they was going to get it too. Did you ever take the blame for something you didn't do? Never. <laughs> do you ever take the blame of what you did wrong? <laughs> do, you <ever laughs> put, do you ever put what you did wrong on somebody else? <laughs> All the you time. wrong and they were getting punished. <laughs> but I, I had been there too, so we, it was just a trade-off. Dang, I didn't know that was 18 carat or 17 carat. You could have snuck that one past me. Put it, it in 10 carat. Right yeah, put it in seven, mm. 10 carat. Yeah, that's 18. Jeez, I don't even, you must have bought that because I ain't never seen it. Yeah, that's me. You're welcome. Yeah. Jeez. We should have pushed that thing out. Maybe we're just getting bigger, man. Push what up? <laughs> hardly get by <laughs> each other now. <laughs> maybe bump into each other. I'm too scared to put my hand on there. What are you doing? Put your hand, man. Why are you scared? You broke it. Scared, man. Somebody said soon you're just going to be able to touch your finger to the gold and it'll <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> you probably yeah, this one is about, it's about to die. Come on, man. Charge your batteries at night. You know, I get so tired when I'm going home. I don't even touch my bag, man. I get so tired. 
that thing over there? Well, uh, 22 karat. Gold plate detected. 22.1. Gold plate not. 22.2. 20, if I add that and that, that's going to come to that? What? Kind of. One dollar, two dollar, up and down. Or, or three? It did two, three, plus six, nine. It's like two dollars, I said. See? <laughs> He, he gets all the money. A gallon of gas gets oh, free. Man, talk about the juice, man. What do you want to flip? There ain't, However no, much you there ain't no flip. How much ever you want? However much you want. Really? Okay. <laughs> $25 will do a flip, plus minus whatever it will be. Does that sound fair? No. No? You're taking off $40. And I'm adding $35. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought you said 25 Yes, sir. No, like you were adding 25 I'm going to win anyway. Let's go. Oh. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. No pitching, only flipping. No pitching. No pitching, only flipping. You got to pitch for $10. One $10 pitch because I'll give pitch, them a little pitch, bit. Of pitch. If I start pitching, you'll be getting 110% at that point. This is my lucky thing. So we'll probably spin it. Heads. Tails. Tails. Ready? I'm always ready. The tail never fails. It's a booty. <laughs> Told you, man, it's like money in the bank. You know in the quarter. These guys are gonna It's money in the bank. We get lunch on you every time you come. <laughs> <laughs> it was good today too. $35 he got extra. That's alright. Really, really, you gamble with my money because I That's gave you 100%. He's, he's gambling with our money. Gambling with your money, my friend, it goes out of my pocket. <laughs> if you do that to your friends, what do you do to your enemies? <laughs> when, which friend are you talking about? What did I do about my friend? <laughs> I've never taken, we've never got 91. My friend. It's dropping. It's supposed to go up, inflation. Inflation, you know the gold prices are going up, and yeah. that's what inflation is. You know you was going to lose with this, man. The subscriber gave me this to flip you. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's, gonna, it's never lost. You know you was going to lose with that. 50, 50 bucks? Huh? You want to do 50 bucks? Uh, you, you talking to the wrong person. I ain't scared. Okay, let's do 50 bucks. 50? It's going to be tails again. Tails. I told you. It's the booty. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for a hundred. <laughs> Don't do no more. No, you can't. Hundred bucks, hundred bucks. No, you ain't doing no hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Let's, let's get ridiculous. I made money this today. This you can keep flipping until you win. I mean, so you what? Can't. I'm a, so what am I right now? You're up fifty more than that big one. I'm a seventy-five. I'm a eight, <coughs> eighty-nine I'm a seventy-five. Eighty-nine seventy-five. Do it for seventy-five. Eighty-nine even or. Hold on, I'll wait till you flip before we It's flip. either 89 even or 90 and a quarter. It's going to be 9,025 if you lose. This, one, see. this huh? one's for 75. It's going to go tails again. Let's see. Tails. Tails again. I try to tell you. <laughs> what are you doing? I try to tell you. 9,025. <laughs> How much down I am? An actual? 150. So oh, this is the money I'm supposed to give them. He can keep this. flipping. He's going to win one. He'll get it all back. At some point, you got to say you got to stop flipping. This one's got to be for 50. I mean, you can do it for 1,000 if you want, but I mean, oh, <laughs> I'm saying, I'll, I'll do it, but I'm just saying. What are you going to do it? 1,000 dollars? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> if you flip 40 times, you're going to win one and you'll get all your money back. That's what I'm saying. At oh, some no, point, you know, I've, seen, I've seen the casino hit red about 13 times. On but the, when you're only on betting 50 wheel. to 70 to 90, it's, it's going to hit. It goes up. Bro. <laughs> you win two the casino more. casino keeps doubling. Though. You win two more, he's down 360. It'd be 720 if you lost two more. Yeah, that ain't the fun no more. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. There's your $100 last one. Huh? I win, I win, I win, if I lose, I lose. I made money today, so it's... But all the winning money is going away right now. Uh, 
Are you doing it? Yeah. For a hundred? Tail, I'm going tails, coming tails again. Uh, I told you. Uh, I'll take all the hundred dollars off and I'll give you whatever I owe you. It was 80, now Give me it? back. <laughs> Let me get out of here. <laughs> If you can tell me what movie this came from. I know the movie, but I don't know <laughs> the name. <laughs> they was in a bar. Cowboy, cowboy, something? I don't know. <laughs> what was it? Well, it was the guy, what was the guy's name in the West? He's a famous guy. Who's the famous outlaw or the famous sheriff out in the West? Bro, what do you think I know? <laughs> you don't know the famous sheriff? No, no sheriff? Ask me about gold watches. <laughs> Ask me about Bollywood movies. I'll tell you about Bollywood movies. From the 1800s. But you had to hear, hear about the shootout at the OK Corral. Do you know you know about that? Bro, how would I know? I was not born and raised here, man. <laughs> well, I mean, how do you expect? How, you do I expect you to know about India? <laughs> Sooner or later you hear something, though. Yeah, there'll be a Netflix show, I'll know about it. <laughs> You know, I bet you know when I tell you. Hey, you won't. Really. I bet you know his name. Ted, Ted. Wyatt Earp. See, I know. You well, know Wyatt, Wyatt, Earp? Earp? Wyatt Earp wasn't the one spinning no, the club. No, that was, that was uh, J um, Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday. No, 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 no. You don't know nothing about the... Uh, about no, I do. I do. When did you come here? Ten years back. Oh, okay. I thought you were here longer than that. My accent doesn't say a thousand words. <laughs> uh, does your accent ever get better after ten years? No, it doesn't get better. Everybody else, hello? Alright, man. man. Yeah. Enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we're gonna get to the giveaway. And this week we got Silver Eagle in a really nice case. Another thing I bought courtesy of Prince for the giveaways. So we'll give this away in a minute, but before let's kind of recap the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I have been a little under the weather for last couple days, so forgive my voice or whatever, but I got to pause the video before that conversation we were having. It was just, you know, some people for, you know, get in their feelings or whatever, but that's kind of who I am and like what I like to do. Like I like having those conversations and talking and getting people's perspective and picking people's brain and stuff like that. And I know my channels, you know, not no religious channel or nothing like that. It's about reselling, but we were selling something and it was just a conversation we was having while we were selling nothing more, nothing less. So, it doesn't matter to me whether what you believe, what you do, who you are, what race you are, where you come from. As long as you treat me with respect, I'll treat you with respect. And I think that's the way to do it. And I think that's kind of what people are going away from. Everybody wants to judge everybody for what they think is wrong. is What they think is wrong and what they think is right. But at the end of the day, we all just do our best. So getting back to it, the part of the resale was those belt buckles. Like I said... I might have passed some things up. My dad's really good at finding stuff like that. So, you know, if you ever see anything PBR, professional bull riding, we bought a jacket a while ago. We still got it on eBay. It hasn't sold yet. But like I said, sometimes that stuff will sit for, you know, six months, a year before it sells. But the stuff is valuable, any of that professional bull riding stuff. So if you're new to the channel, I always remind everybody too, if you're not subscribed and you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. Because once we get to 50K, we're gonna give away this one ounce gold buffalo. So gold's still on the rise. Who knows where it'll be when we hit it, but we're gonna get this to somebody. Enough of me talking and rambling. Let's give this bad boy away to somebody. Let's get to it. So we got the link to the video. Take out a duplicate user comments. Don't take them out, it just only uses one. And then we'll grab the comments. So how you get entered for the giveaways, I still get asked all the time. You have to be subscribed to the channel like the videos because that's what helps us you know get the videos out be able to give stuff like this away and then make a comment and then i pull a random comment <clears throat> from the previous week's videos i'm sorry guys i just don't feel very well at all but anyways let's get to it the winner is dmnd1212 so dmn you have instagram message me right here on instagram that's the easiest way to get in contact with me and as always man i appreciate y'all i appreciate all the positive comments i appreciate everybody that shares the channel 
anybody that's bought anything from me, that date's coming up. About eight more days, I'm going to start shipping them coins out to everybody. So I appreciate y'all so much, and I'll see y'all Wednesday.